Google begins offering same-day delivery service for Nexus devices. Specs of the first Android and Firefox smartphone emerge. And it seems Motorola listens to the $150 savings on the Moto X return. I'm Jaime Rivera, and how about if you carry the whole Friday joke for next week? I'll definitely take a look. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news, as believe it or not, Google is now offering same-day delivery service for certain Nexus devices. And yeah, of course there is a catch. This is not available in the whole United States, only in the San Francisco Bay Area as a test, number one. And number two, it's only available for certain Nexus 7 models and Nexus 10s aside from the Chromecast. So if you're interested in these and you are in the Bay Area, you should definitely give it a try for the price tag, but we are hopeful that this will come to other cities eventually. And if you do not remember anything about the Geek Phone, don't worry, you're not alone. We talked about this phone almost a year ago and it hasn't happened yet. This is the first phone to be running Android and Firefox OS at the same time, or obviously dual booting. But the problem is that now that we look at the specifications, links down below for details, it's sadly a very affordable phone, so I don't think it's going to make much fanfare. And if you thought that Samsung had enough names on their products, you're wrong. They have more in store according to some rumors as apparently the company will now be adopting the names Lite and Pro into their products in the future. So you could be seeing a Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 Lite and a Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 Pro coming eventually. And we could probably add some more names by the year 2015, so stay tuned as this is going to be a very hilarious 2014. And yes, it does seem that Motorola listens to the complaints of people as the company is now bringing back their deals, which are $150 off an unlocked Moto X or 50% off the contract price of a Moto X, uh, which could mean that either the deals weren't great or the deals were so good to be true that they want to do them again. Uh, now, there is a catch. This deal is only available for the viewers of the Today Show. So even if you do not view the Today Show, links down below, it has the full procedure on how to get that Moto X at that price and take advantage. I know I will. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, Chris DeSalvo, which was one of the primary engineers of Android back in the early days, has just come on record with a little story of how the whole iPhone launch in 2007 came to change everything that they had worked on when it came to Android. You know, these people came from Danger Inc. and then they eventually started the whole project of Android. And apparently, this was going to be more of a BlackBerry sort of device. There's actually a link in the description for the video uh, where we see Sergey Brin show us that phone which was made by HTC back then and obviously once the iPhone launched in early 2007 everything changed they pretty much changed absolutely their whole strategy into the T-Mobile G1 that we eventually saw and Android where you see it now but that leads me to the question of the day back then you know in 2007 what phone were you using and which platform did you want iOS or Android in my particular case I was using a Motorola Q9H I believe which was one of my favorite phones of all time and I didn't really care about the iPhone I wanted to stick to Windows Mobile but leave us a comment down below what was your case and friends you know the drill if you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well you can also follow me on Twitter Jaime underscore Rivera please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.